Hello and welcome to my first JA tutorial. Today I'll be doing a tutorial on Unity 3D on how to create a basic 3D menu. So the first thing you need to do is create the two 3D text new game and quick game. You can add as many as you want but we'll just be using these two today. You first start off with a really low quality text like this which it says hello world and it's uh, not very pretty to look at. But you can uh, easily make it high quality like these texts with this font size uh, option on the right. See it says size 76. You can raise that to as high as you want and the higher it goes the higher quality you'll get but you don't want it to get it too high or else it'll start getting all pixely. And We're gonna start off by making a script for these two texts so when you click the quit button it quits the game and when you click new game it loads the next level. First we're gonna start by making a new script and we're going to call it a uh, menu. Okay, there you go. Okay, we can just open it up. Now, first we need to make a variable for the quit button. So we would just do var, which is for variable, is quit button equals to false. Alright, there you go. So we don't need this uh, function update. We can just replace it with uh, function on mouse enter, which will render if the mouse goes over the text or not. So if it does, then render material color. We're gonna make it red. All right, so that's. Uh, all you need for when the mouse goes over the text. So when it leaves the text is almost the same. Just exit. Now we have to, this this one's going to be a little bit longer, it has to detect if the button is a quit button or not. So we would do function on mouse up, which is if you click, alright, on mouse up, if is quit button, then application quit. This is when it ends the program. We're going to do an else application dot load level. So this is where it will load the level if it is not the quit button. That's about it. Let me save it. And now I can add this to both the texts. It will have the variable so you can check it if it's a quit button or not. Whenever you do these type of variables in Unity, it's always with a checkbox that you can uh, check and uncheck. Okay, now that the script is added to both objects, we have to say if one of them is the quit. I will select this one, and down here, where, my, where the mouse is, it says is quit button. That is the variable. We can check that to true because this is the quit button. It says quit game. Now what we haven't done yet is added this level to the build settings. The way to add it to the build setting is click file, build settings, add current. Let's have to save it first. We'll just call it okay. So just click save. Alright. Now it's saved. So we can run our game and let's see how it looks. Okay. So uh, when you move the mouse over the object it turns red for both of them and when you click it of course in this case I'll get an error because there's no such thing as level one but all you have to do is make another level and add it to the build settings and it will load up that level so when I click quit game it will quit the game but uh, it does not work inside the unity editor it has to be the exe form to work or you, know, you just 
get nothing. So if that ever happens uh, in the program, don't think that it doesn't work because the script is working. That's about it. Thank you for watching my tutorial. Subscribe for more and comment if you liked it.